Members of Congress and other government leaders, present and past, gathered in the Capitol Rotunda to honor the late Senator John McCain. McCain is just the 31st person in history to lie in state at the U.S. Capitol. He joins 11 former presidents and the likes of Rosa Parks, Billy Graham, and two state Capitol police officers who were killed in the line of duty. Today, McCain's colleagues celebrated the life that led to such a distinction that was recounted during that ceremony. And today, Team 12's Mark Curtis caught up with Governor Doug Ducey, who also made the trip to D.C. Joined now by Governor Ducey and, and Governor, I hate to be talking to you under these circumstances. Normally, it's, uh, it's a pretty good occasion when we chat, and, and this is not one of those times. I wish, I wish it was different circumstances as well, but, but the honor of, of John McCain sitting in the United States Capitol and to hear Vice President Pence and Speaker Ryan and Leader McConnell all honor him, the, the cabinet that showed up, the congressmen, the, the, the senators, Mrs. McCain, Roberta, McCain, 106 years old, being there, uh, I thought it was very special and fitting for an American hero and, and legend. I don't know if you got a chance to see it today, but when I saw the serpentine line of crowds waiting to get in to the Capitol to see his body, that told me what a beloved figure he was nationally. We, we love him in Arizona, but it tells me how beloved he was uh, nationally. We knew there were going to be long lines. I mean, he, John McCain is the senior senator from Arizona, but he's a national and international figure. And I've been all over the city today. I can't tell you how many people have stopped me and said hello, and they're here from Arizona to view him in the Capitol, and people from all over the country as, as well. This is, this is a man that is, is loved through, throughout the, the nation and the world. Finally, for some people, I think it hits them when they see his body lying in state in the rotunda. It hit me the other day at the North Phoenix Baptist Church when I saw his flag draped coffin being taken out of the hearse. When did it hit you that the senator is gone? Well, first when I when I heard the news, but of course when he came in state to the Arizona Capitol, you know when the when the hearse pulled up and I I greeted Cindy. That's when I knew that th this this is happening and and the eyes of the country are, are on Arizona. I'm really proud of the citizens of Arizona how they came out and lined the streets and stood in line and paid their respects and the veterans that came to salute him and now from people from all over the country and certainly all over this city are standing in line to pay their respects to John McCain. Governor, thanks. Thank you.